Okay, let's talk about um, getting in a fight. You should see it coming a mile away. You went someplace you shouldn't have been, you walked down a dark alley, somebody comes up with a really bad attitude, they're looking for trouble, you should feel it a mile away. Now the worst thing you can do is nothing, because it's the train wreck. The train is coming toward you and the wreck is gonna happen. If you don't move, it's gonna hit you, so you have to do something. And real briefly, if somebody says, stand still when I'm talking to you, all they're looking for is a nice steady target. They want a sitting duck. A sitting duck is a dead duck. What you have to do is get in motion and stay in motion and not sit there when he gets close and start pushing that distance. So I've got a partner here. And, hey man, we're having an argument and, and da da da, right? Tell me I'm ugly. You're ugly. Well, that, that felt good, didn't you? <laughs> Where's this, there's distance, so there is no fight involved. Now, tell me I'm ugly and start to walk towards me a little bit slow. You're ugly. Uh, you show, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, you see how I start to move with him. I got my hands up. I'm turning my body slightly. I'm not going like this, because now I've got too much space to guard. Instead, I step back. I get my hands up so they can guard. I'm not going, oh, no! I'm just, whoa, whoa, and I'm backing off a little bit, and I'm, I'm leaning, and let's say he goes to reach for me. Boom. Okay, I just kneecapped him. Fight over. If it's not over, he's going to be backing up. How'd that feel on your kneecap? I felt it. Was it right in the right spot? It was dead, yeah, it was right there. You can see the, the mark there. Yeah. Now, I could have gone for the groin. People don't always hurt from the groin. Also, it's higher so they'll feel it coming. It doesn't mean it's bad, and it doesn't mean it's a secondary target. You just gotta balance what you wanna do. Which way is it, 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 which way is it turning this way or that way? Is he coming more aggressively with the upper body? Is he trying to slide in on you? What's he trying to do? Let, let's say he reaches for my throat again. Whoa! See, now I got a little bit jammed. I can still push. I've guided him out a little bit. Okay, he says, he goes to grab my neck. Worst thing I could have done. I just sat there and took it. I just took it. Now I have to fight back. Now I'm the effect of what has happened. Before I could be caught because I was moving, before he was moving, reach for me. Boom! Right there. Hard as I can. His arm is extended so his muscles are not tight. Boom. I don't even need a pressure point. If I wanted one, oh, what? <laughs> Floating rib. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Ooh. Oh, 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 that doesn't feel good. No. Well, the pressure point one inch down and one inch over right there. So that's fine. Hands are up because now he's going to have to go through or around. And that means that I'm making him go where I want him to go. I don't want to fight. My hands are tight together. He's got to reach around him. Boom! I slide off to the side. Remember, I don't stand there. I always move. I hit him square. He throws the other hand. Boom! Oh, that didn't feel good. Got a shoulder. And if I hit his collarbone, he'd have a broken collarbone. Fight's over. The idea is not... Once he closes to a certain distance, you have to do something. You should see him coming. When he steps over the distance, you have to do something. Float him, set up a, an alley, float in that kick as he, as he advances, you know, first, two, past that, you got problems because now he's close enough to start doing stuff. So you should have taken one, you should have seen him coming. Number two, you should have taken out kneecap or groin. Number three, you should have guided which way he's gonna grab you or punch you. I don't wanna fight. Boom! There goes the throat right there. I don't want to fight. Boom! I hit his leg, I stopped him, and that was actually a groin shot. If you take a look, you'll notice that I'm right there, I put my whole foot there. All I had to do was move it over, use the ball of the foot, the groin is gone, he's done, he's down. Um, so that's basically the lesson. If you're going to get mugged, number one, don't be stupid and go where you're not supposed to be. See it coming. Number two, maintain distance. When he steps onto your area, you should be throwing that kick. Do not wait 
even if he's got his hands down, if he's advancing into your area like this, back off, pop him low, pop him quick so he can't block it. If he does block it, block it. He has to bend down and you've got yourself a nice shot because while his hands are down, you're coming across the face. Number three, guide him. Make him go inside, or pardon me, make him go around your hands, make him go through. Okay, now I'm like this. I don't want to fight. He's going straight down the center. Boom! I move over to the side. I knew where his hands would be. I set him up. And I did not do it aggressively. If somebody has a cell phone and they're taking a picture of this, all they saw was me trying to avoid the fight. He reaches for me. Boom! I haven't even done anything yet. Now, there's a cell phone right there. Oh! 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 Not seeing anything, are you? But if we turn it this way, I'm hitting him there. I'm hitting him there. I'm grabbing his hair. I'm doing all sorts of stuff, and nobody can see it. And you don't want people to see what you do. You don't want to do it quick. You want to do it fast. You want to get out of dodge. He reaches for me. Boom! 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 That's it. I'm done. I'm gone. I took him out with the knee. I guided him. I chopped him on the way through, and I ran off the scammer. Thank you for mugging me. Can I have your wallet? <laughs> Very good.